I'm Miss Lori, and it's good to see you. It's really exciting today because my recipe is going to be part of a Croctober extravaganza. And it was, uh, it started by and collaborated with uh, Lisa from Sutton's Days and Amanda over at the Bills. So y'all need to go check out their channels. But uh, they contacted me and asked me if I thought I'd be interested. And I thought, yeah, that's wonderful because I can tell you, my slow cooker <laughs> has become my best friend. I love my slow cooker because it has helped me through many of hard days of coming in from work and having supper already done. And uh, it just it's just a, an amazing gadget that I don't know who invented it, but thank you very much. <laughs> I love my slow cooker. But anyways, I was asked, and there is, that it started October 1st. To the 31st and of course today's my day the 30th and I'm really excited about it because I'm gonna give you a recipe and it's more of a dessert than anything and it's uh, your old-fashioned rice pudding and we're gonna make it in a slow cooker now y'all that have been with me for a while know that I'm a little bit of the old ways and I love vintage old-fashioned recipes and that's what this is gonna be but it's gonna be cooked Instead of on a top of a wood cook stove or on top of the stove, it's going to be cooked in the slow cooker. So if y'all like rice pudding, which is so, it's just a comfort dessert, especially this time of year when it's cold and frigid outside, uh, I think y'all are going to like this. So y'all stay with me and let's get started on this. Let's get this beautiful pudding started. Now I've got my short grain rice here, three-fourths of a cup. I washed it and rinsed it off good. We're just going to throw it in here. I've got, what I've got in here is I've got two cups of milk and two cups of heavy cream. Now, if you don't use cream or you just don't have any, you can put four cups of just milk in it. You can put three cups of milk and one cup of cream. You could put all cream. That's just up to you. I like a very creamy uh, rice pudding, but I had about just a little over two cups of heavy cream. So I thought, well, I'll just put two cups of milk and two cups of heavy cream. So we got that going. I've got a half a stick of butter. I'm going to stick in here. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon. And uh, if you've got a small cinnamon stick, you can throw that in there instead of putting ground cinnamon. But I'm going to put a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And just a little pinch of of salt. We're going to put a half a cup of brown sugar. But that's all there is to that. We're going to put the lid on it and I'll stick it in my slow cooker and it's going to cook on high and I can tell you it varies. <clears throat> I will be checking it two and a half hours but this could go anywhere from two and a half to four hours. You just need to check it every once in a while. But however long it takes, it's gonna be great. Just kind of fluff it with a fork and see where it's at at that, at that time. Also, cookers are different. I think mine does a pretty good job, but sometimes I think on high, it does get a little bit hotter than it made me some. But that's when we put it on, put it on high. We'll have us some really good uh, rice pudding for dessert tonight. Um, I also want to say that if you don't want to use the brown sugar, regular sugar, you can use honey in place of the sugar. And you can use a sugar substitute like Swerve or something like that. So you might try that. That way you can have you some good rice pudding. So I'm going to get this going and when we come back, it'll be done and we're going to taste it. It's been about just a little over two hours and I checked it 
and it is ready. Y'all remember me telling you that all slow cookers and crock pots, they just cook a little bit different. But uh, if you want it, of course I had it on high, and I wanted it, you know, to have for dessert after supper, so that turned out really good. But you could put it on low and uh, let it cook just a little bit longer if you don't want it done that fast. But just keep it checked. Look how creamy that is. And if you check it after an hour, which is what I would do, and I would stir it, check it after an hour, and it looks like it needing a little bit more cream or milk, just put you a little bit in there. But look how creamy that is. Rice pudding. It's an easy way to do it. And turns out perfect every time. Good and creamy. But like I said, with it being on high, you need to check it. So let's put some in a bowl. And let's taste it. And oh yeah, I meant to tell y'all and I forgot. Before you put your rice and stuff in here, you need to butter the sides and the bottom of your slow cooker. That's always a good idea. So I hope y'all try this recipe. It's really good. It's a really comfort dessert. Down in the description box, I'm going to put the rest of the ladies, their channels, down in there so you can go watch them because they've got a lot of good recipes too. So I want to thank Lisa and I want to thank Amanda for asking me to be a part of this. And I really enjoyed it. So y'all make y'all some uh, slow cooker rice pudding. It's really good.